Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the beta, dev, and release preview channels of Windows 11. So, without further ado, let's begin. Starting with the beta channel, version 23H2, build 22635.4291, KB5043166. In this build, Microsoft has updated the design of the disconnect and log off dialogues in Task Manager, to now support dark mode and text scaling. In the performance section, we can now see label listed disks along with their type. Tailored experiences are becoming personalized offers in OOBE, this new setting can be found on the recommendations and offers page of the settings app, under privacy and security. Personalized offers will let users opt out, allowing Windows to use info about their devices, and how they use them to enhance Windows. There are some fixes in this build like Fixed a few issues that would cause Explorer.exe crashes, including one causing sporadic Explorer crashes, when using Alt plus Tab in recent builds. Fixed an issue where if you clicked or tapped on a letter on the Start Menu's All Apps list, the all apps list may break and not display correctly. Some other changes and improvements in this update are Work folders files fail to sync when Defender for Endpoint is on. The issue prompts for your pin each time you open an encrypted email. Microsoft Edge sometimes stops responding when you use it in IE mode. There is inconsistent data between TCP Info v1 and Connection e stats. File synchronization services use TCP connection performance analysis tools, and this issue affects how accurate those tools are. This update brings COSA profiles up to date for certain mobile operators. Task Manager stops responding when you switch from a high contrast theme to a normal theme. There are some known issues in this update like, after installing this build, you may find that there is an unexpected amount of spacing between items in the Start Manual Apps list. The live captions will crash if you try to use it. Microsoft is rolling out an update for the snipping tool for Windows Insiders in the beta and release preview channels, which introduces the ability to change the folder, where original screenshots and screen recordings are automatically saved. You can make changes through the settings option available. In the dev channel, version 24H2, build 26120.1912, KB5043168. This update includes a small set of general improvements and fixes, that improve the overall experience for insiders running this build on their PCs. The Windows Mobile Hotspot has been enhanced to support 6 GHz connections, the new band requires chips that support the feature and updated drivers, not all chips that support 6 GHz Wi-Fi, in general, will support the 6 GHz Mobile Hotspot, the change will be visible in the Settings app of Network and Internet, under Mobile Hotspot, when you edit the Mobile Hotspot properties, for compatibility with existing devices, the Mobile Hotspot will only use 6 GHz, when explicitly enabled, there are some fixes in this build like This update adds attributions to text files for Rust OSS components. In Task Manager, the settings page might have a white background when it should not. It also stops responding when you switch from a high contrast theme to a normal theme. When a combo box has input focus, a memory leak might occur when you close that window. The WebView 2 apps do not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth controllers. If you click or tap on a letter on Start Menu's All Apps list, the All Apps list may break. If you encounter this issue, please try rebooting or restarting Explorer.exe to fix it. In the Release Preview Channel Update, version 24H2, build 26100.1882, KB5043178. This non-security update includes quality improvements like there is a new energy recommendation to turn off high dynamic range, this helps to conserve energy on devices that have HDR displays. First go to Settings, then System, under Power and Battery select Energy Recommendations. When you open the Start menu, 
The sign out option is now on the account manager, to change to a different user, select the three dots in the corner, and a list of other users will appear to make it easier to switch for the users. This update adds the option to turn off enhanced mouse pointer precision in the settings app of Bluetooth and devices section, then select mouse, there is also a new option to change the direction in which the mouse scrolls. The WebView 2 apps do not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth controllers. When your device battery power is running low, a pop-up window will appear that asks you to plug in your device. This occurs when the battery level reaches 20%, and Energy Saver is set to Always On. In Task Manager, the settings page might have a white background when it should not. It also stops responding, when you switch from a high contrast theme to a normal theme. When a combo box has input focus, a memory leak might occur when you close that window. This update adds attributions to text files for Rust OSS components. You can now manage your Copilot Pro subscription in Settings, sign into your Microsoft account and go to Settings, then select Accounts. The non-visual desktop access app and other screen readers fail to narrate all the screen content from some maps, this occurs when those apps run with administrator privileges. Media controls will now show in the lower part of the lock screen at the center, when a media is being played. You can now share local files directly from the search results that appear in the search box on the taskbar. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.